Hello, welcome back. Here we're proving Cayley theorem. Um, Cayley theorem states that any group of order n is isomorphic to a subgroup of permutations of n objects. Cayley theorem makes it possible to prove things for groups in general by only proving it for permutations. And the core of this proof is to show a correspondence between a multiplication in our group of permutations to a mu multiplication in our group. In order to show this correspondence, we have to define a bijective map associating a permutation to each group element. And to show that the multiplication in our group is equivalent to the multiplication in our permutation group, we have to show that phi defined over here is a homomorphism. We have a very neat definition of the multiplication of in our permutation group, therefore we can write by associativity of our group that this is exactly just regrouping here our brackets, exactly as what, what we've expected, that this is just phi of a i times a j. This proves our theorem, but it's very hard to imagine what does it mean to have a to have a of have a map that associates uh, a permutation to every group element, and therefore we we're making here two examples. One example we're making with the group of C two V, and the other example is the group of C four. You know these two groups because you you've probably solved exercise sheet one, and you know this fairly well now. We're identifying every group element with a number right here, C2 with 2 and the two, two reflection planes with a number. Multiplication tables are not nothing new to you, we're just filling this out as we are used to here. Um, then rotations by C2 and reflections just rotates the reflection plane. And two mirror planes is just the inverse. Of, no, we've got here four and here three. And two times the reflection planes are the inversions just cancel and you're left by rotation by 180 degrees. So here we're doing the same thing. Again, we're identifying our group elements with numbers and again we're filling this out this table here a rotation of 90 degrees just shifts everything by one quarter and we've got that too so what what have we what have we visualized right here? If we have, for example, phi of c two, phi of c two is now given by this these two lines, the permutation of these four elements to a permutation of these four elements. You can extract that out of the definition over here. Psi of c two here is equivalent to taking the first and the third line, and we see these two are different for different groups. This is the solution for exercise one of problem sheet two. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.